All right, I am back. Um, this is like a week later after last episode. It's Sunday. I completely forgot that uh, Attack on Titan, you know, new episodes are getting released on Sunday. So I just sort of saw it in someone's thumbnail. I was like, oh shit. And then there's like Attack on Titan. And then my friend, my friend sent me a snap of the new episode. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to get on this and uh, just react to this already. Oh, I hate saying that. I'm I'm gonna watch it while filming my reaction to it. Like I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what to say really. What to go off of last episode, which was really quite crazy. I'm gonna check right now, make sure it's actually recording. Yeah, I checked, make sure it was recording. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm facing this way, I have an HDMI hooked into my computer now. <laughs> hooked into my. I'm tired, um, so I'm going to be watching it off of the TV, which is going to be a lot better. Um, the audio quality might not turn up as good, but, you know, whatever. It might help with the uh, copyright issues, actually, so when I upload it, it should be fine. Um, if the audio isn't as clear, then yeah, it should be good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bird. Again, this show with birds, man. Oh. There are colossal titans in there. Whoa! Is this baby Aaron? Or is this Historia's baby? It's Grisha. Dad's memory. He's enjoying his his previous family into hell and left them down there. Hold on. i flip over my uh, console so I can actually see the subtitles. Oh, and I tried fixing where my hair so don't look stupid. It probably didn't work. Hold on. I fixed my posture, look a little less stupid now. I'm trying to be more like, whew. What are you trying to do? Okay, there's more shit in the way of the subtitles. I apologize. This is like... This is my favorite show, man. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong 64, hell yeah. We're the DK crew. Imagine if Zeke was in the DK crew. That would be cool. That would be epic. And watched his son planted those seeds of nationalism in you. It's nationalism, yeah. Such a theme in the show. Good for you, Grisha. What about your first family? Something is dead now, I've no Oh my god. This is crazy. Because we've never seen this. We haven't seen Aaron's actual childhood growing up with his dad. Zeke isn't falling for it, he doesn't believe him yet. Man, Aaron's hot. 
Sorry, that was just a good shot. I'm like, <clears throat> Hans! Oh, Hans! Oh, I miss Hans so much. Oh, the alcoholic uncle. This is so much better when I can actually be loud talking and you can hear me and it's not at night time, isn't it? Isn't this so much better? Oh, he... Oh, Kenny! Sheesh. Zeke, man. Fuck. Rumbling, rumbling. Beware. We could belch. So good. I have my doggy on my bed here. I don't know. Cute dog. Cute doggy. I think we're sleeping. She's adorable. And then I got my attack and height in the jacket. This is the way I'm recording. You probably couldn't hear me during that because I have my microphone right next to the fucking TV because I'm an idiot. Cute dog having a dream in her sleep. Look how cute she is. She's precious. My Attack on Titan jacket. I brought this back. You probably can't see it though because I'm going to be in the way watching the TV this time. What have I missed? Damn, Aaron's got the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> Look away, if I lose it all, lose it all, lose it all. That's so good, all of them looking up and pointing. It's obvious what they're looking at, and it's just like, oh god. Mm. Here to beware. Oh, no. The crushed butterfly. Alrighty, I'm back. And I've officially moved my hair far enough back where it shouldn't be falling in my fucking eyes anymore. So if any of you have OCD and you've been watching my videos going like, mm, 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 you just want to like snip it off of scissors or like buzz cut my head, don't worry, I moved it back so it's less annoying now. It's funny, as a teenager I was super self-conscious about my forehead and shit and I thought this looked bad. I have changed a lot. I don't like the shaggy look anymore. I really like having short hair. I'm going to get a haircut. 
fairly soon, so you guys can expect me to look a lot more like, mm, like schmexy and less so uh, stupid looking. So, yeah, definitely helps with confidence when you look good and not stupid. Oh. Man. Basketball, I think. It's very emotional. I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh, it's when he was writing it. God, it's like the Wit Studio animation, but like the Mappa. Wait. Oh, this is such a mindfuck. Mm. She was such a good mom, man. She wasn't told anything either. She was completely out of the blue with everything. Going on.
Exactly what Erwin said too, season three. Without our sacrifice now, the deaths of those will be meaningless. It's like we pay those debts. And those, those who have paid with their lives who give our own. And he knows he's probably not going to be coming back when he does. Oh my god. This is like the most amazing story ever I've just ever witnessed. Something I actually funny, I was just gonna pause. I just wanted to clarify something. Um I don't really want to be one of those people who's like just a hype beast who like hypes the shit out of something they love like because a lot of people have done that with this show I've noticed they like over hype it like they just I don't know it, it sort of tinges it or ruins something precious or like I don't know there's some there's just something about it because I love this show but there are plenty of other good anime and like stories out there. Attack on Titan isn't the only good like story ever, and I'm aware of that. And uh, I just feel like when something is really, really good, people have a tendency to like neglect other things and just say, "No, this is the best thing ever. It's flawless." There's no like flawless story out there. Pretty much even like the most amazing things you can think of like goodwill hunting spider-man 2 uh empire strikes back godfather i'm just name listing off random iconic movies right now but even the most amazing movie show franchise whatever video game nothing is perfect attack on titan has its little imperfections too but that's what that's what you know makes something a story that's what Without the imperfections, you know, it's just, yeah, I just wanted this brief bit to talk about that because I just see it everywhere with this show. Like, I don't know whether to call myself a fan or an enjoyer of this show because it's like, just, there are a lot of shitty fans for this show, I will admit. Like, starting off, it wasn't too bad and I look back at like 2014, 2015, the fan base was just really cool, but ever since season four came out and you know studio change and everything it's just <sighs> i don't know i consider myself a fan of this show but i don't want to be like part of the you know fan base necessarily because just i don't know they don't exactly get a good rap nowadays after just a lot of the shit that happened like going after the animators shit talking the show and like nitpicking the hell out of it and just like just enjoy it man like this is probably the only instance you're gonna see your like manga adapted to like animation like this just like i get it if you're a consumer watching the show you want it to be really high production quality it's your right to like have an opinion and stuff but like yeah i don't know just, like I'll, I'll notice imperfections or certain things or they use a sound clip like song i might not like with a scene but like at the end of the day, man, it's still fucking awesome. Like, I'm not exactly gonna whine bitch about it. I think it's what they're doing with this. The fact they could even get out part one and like the production quality they had it at is just nothing short of a miracle and amazing with like the time they had and just I, I appreciate that alone, but it seems like they had much more uh time. Um you know this round around <laughs> um i guess it just yeah so i am sort of going off here and just thinking to myself but uh i'll check make sure it's still recording hold on all right i am back um yeah just making sure it's recording and make sure to do that now it's honestly a good thing to do with your videos if you're ever running any technical difficulties audio 
uh, visual input, whatever, if it's lagging or bugging out or being dumb. Just do your video in like segments. That's what I've started doing. Like every five or seven minutes or so, maybe 10, uh, just hit stop recording and then just check, look over it, make sure it's good. And uh, yeah, and you just edit it and splice it all together at the end. I guess for anyone watching this who wants it, who's never done videos and is thinking, huh, why not? I might, you know, do some face cam videos. You can just do that. Um, at least that's what I find works if OBS or whatever you're using isn't working too well. I'm getting completely sidetracked here. I'm going to continue the reaction now, but um, this is good. This is a really good episode. I am thoroughly enjoying this. This is a nice breather from last episode, which is good because the last three episodes have been just nonstop action. And uh, I enjoy Attack on Titan best when, you know, throughout its history so far of the episodes when they have like an action-packed episode and then like a breather episode for you to relax and then action-packed and they like you know it's like a pattern it's just a really nice story flow that way if there's too much dialogue and too much talking it can become a little bit boring but it's 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 good though so you know that helps because <laughs> you can watch it and not actually get bored you're like this is interesting but um and same with too much action there's too much action it's just like your brain turns to motion it's like kind of want to you know get a little sustenance so this is this show has always been really good at that like blending both together almost perfectly Oh, is this the scene people were talking about? Because I remember this exact soundtrack. I was listening to this a lot, like, a while ago, and I was going through a rough period, and I was just like, damn, like, this song hits. Like, the picture is Aaron tying up his hair, and he's, like, looking crazy, and he's all muscly and shit, and someone was like, oh, I hope they use this during that scene. Is this that scene? Because is this Aaron's tipping point? Because he looks like he's about to fucking snap right now. Like, I don't... Because they never showed any of this, Grisha and her arguing back and forth in season three. They just left off on Aaron's face looking like he's going to break Historia's hand or like flip shit. So I'm just like, what happens? Like, I'm actually... Both sides make good points. I'm 
Oh fuck. Really? What? Well, they never fucking said that. Every Titan has its own unique little fun fucky quirk, you know? It's like, oh, the jaw is limber and jumps around the female. Oh, she, she's the female it hardens her fist and punches shit the, like every titan has its unique characteristic but what the fuck i feel like that's a little bit overpowered like you know the colossal titan is like a walking nuke so you know that's also pretty but like you can see the future um Oh my god, this is so good. This is so fucking good. I'm turning this up. I know. This is what I'm talking about, man. We don't. Sometimes you don't need an action, like an action episode. I enjoy these episodes so much more. At the end of the day, it's the characters and the story and the dialogue and just the. And Isayama does it fucking right, man. This is so good. I'm trying not to look at my dog. She is really cute. But wow. Such good fucking storytelling. Like writing just. Love you, Isayama. Thank you. Holy fuck. The music! This is even better. Because I listened to this exact track and I was just thinking to myself, what's going to happen? What's going to be Aaron's snapping point? What's what's he going to do? I think this might be it right here. Because he looked really fucking pissed there. If your storytelling is good enough, any episode like this can like easily beat any action episode like any day of the week like oh the rendition the new way they did this theme this track is so good but only short glimpses it can't like blatantly see the future because Aaron's only been able to see small glimpses same with Grisha same with Aaron Kruger on the wall he's like you must save Mikasa and Armin and everyone else Oh my god.
Oh, Aaron. I've seen this, the clip of Aaron talking to Grisha. That was spoiled for me. Thank you. I love, I love you, Manga Weedle, so much. You guys are just the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for spoiling. <laughs> Not everything has been spoiled, so I'm still really enjoying this. I'm just being a dick and poking some fun because uh, a lot of Attack on Titan fans have done a shitty job at not spoiling people. So, so I obviously know here Aaron influences Grisha or does some shit to get into his head. Poor Frida, man. When he kissed her hand. So Aaron was the cause of it. Oh my god. I know we're right near. I know we're right near the end of the episode, but I need to like take a break for a moment. Um, I will see you all in a moment. Okay, Leon S. Kennedy Jacket Man is back. Hello, everyone. The little shoulder thing. I'm not ready to see this again, but I'm going to watch it again, regret it. I'm probably going to cry on camera, so hold on. All right, let's do it. The, watching this a second time, I'm probably going to cry because, oh my God, Grisha is filled with guilt after this. Like he's like he's going crazy and it's just like.
Oh my god. Even though it was generally already spoiled for me that Aaron, you know, um, ends up going ape shit and summons the, like millions of colossal titans and activates the rumbling. Um, which at first was like, you know, manga readers' faults, but then it was sort of my own because I'm like, oh my fucking god, and I watched some of King Pixel's videos, so that was on me, but. Yeah. I won't get into all that. But it was obviously deeper than that than what was spoiled for me. Like, oh, Aaron goes crazy and, you know, he becomes like a genocidal maniac. But, like, it obviously, as always, the Attack on Titan, even all the times I've been spoiled, it ends up being so much deeper than what the spoiler is. Even the one dickhead in my comment section last year who was like, Sasha dies, lol, in the comments, I was like, well, fuck, all right, and, you know. But I didn't know Gabby was the one who killed her. Probably should have seen that coming, but I didn't, so when it happened, I was like, oh, balls, and then, you know. And then the little girl she saved in season two came back and I hypothesized that I thought about him like that would how crazy would that be that would be so good if he brought her back that would make so much sense and I'm so happy he did because usually in stories I think about stuff like that and like oh if they bring this person back or this happens and doesn't happen the author doesn't do anything with it but the Attack on Titan it always always impresses me he always ends up like Siyama, he always does this smart thing. Most of the time, I just it's a good story, good show. I'm gonna rewatch that scene with Grisha and Zeke uh, off screen now. I think I'm probably just gonna cry my eyes out like a baby. Um, I don't want that to go on YouTube. I already teared up enough when it happened. Um, I don't want Markiplier memes made about me, so. <sighs> so Frida, Frida was trying to fight it off, like in her head, the, the will of the first king, like trying to find reason and she saw him drop the knife and she stopped for a moment her family was telling her to kill him and she didn't want to it was only until Aaron convinced him and he picked up the knife where she was like oh, shit and she went to do it so 
That explains why he looks so crazy in season three when he's going to stab his hand, and then you know why all why Aaron also looks so crazy when he's holding Historia's hand. And I'm still curious what they're going to do with that baby man, Historia's baby. They haven't they haven't shown Historia since fucking part one of season one, like somewhere in the middle of the episodes, like somewhere around there they did it, and I haven't shown her since, and I'm just like, where the hell is Historia? What's she doing? Why are they hiding her? It's just like, it's so weird. Man. I'm just... <sighs> I think that's all. I, I don't know, I'm trying to think of what to say. If I started doing these reaction videos way earlier in the series, like in season one, season two, season three, I'd you know be more talkative afterwards or have more theories or things to talk about. But I don't really anymore, man. Being honest, like I have some things to say, obviously, but no theories, no hypotheses, no like, yeah, nothing really to say. Just holy shit, because we're nearing the end of the show now. There's not really a lot left to. Uh, hypothesize you know like it's sort of obvious what's going to happen from here on out kind of you know the rumbling is going to happen they're going to try and stop it maybe they'll succeed maybe they won't and I don't know what the ending will be and they just man yeah well see you all later thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video like a week from now unless i decide to upload something else which, if you'd like to see me do other kinds of content, let me know. I could, you know, I have a drawing tablet. I can do drawing videos, take recommendations. I could do drunk drawing. This is a little side series. If people want to see me draw stuff drunk, give me recommendations. I could do that. Um, probably look really stupid right now, facing head on at the camera. When I look at the TV, I look a lot better from like a side angle. When I look directly on, I probably look really stupid. Um, yeah, I'm going to bend this there. Yeah.